seed plant, which is just down the road from the fertilizer. You can see right up there where I put the tank down. Works a little bit differently. Yeah, it's pretty similar, actually. But it takes any product that you grow can be turned into one-to-one -one ratio if you can get it over the top of the grate. A little tight in there. I'll back it in. One-to-one -one ratio will turn it into seed. Here I'm using triticale for the simple fact that it grows quick in 12 hours and it's cheap so it makes a great seed product. We load it up. You'll see in the middle of this that there are the gauges right under that middle of the park seed. Same gauges as the other plant. Move this out of the way a little bit. Jump into my other truck here, which is full of mushroom. Another 12 hour product and another great one for growing to create seed. Let's see if I can do a little bit of a spin around here. There we go. A little better than the last time. All right, all our seed has been processed. And to pick up seed, you can either drive a seeder itself or the truck that you want to fill it with over the top and load up some seed. I'm not going to wait all day to load up a bunch, but we'll get 10,000 plus or so and head back up the road to make our seed delivery. That'll have to do. This trailer just slides for some reason. We're loading in seed, as you can see. It will take some time to process the seed. And it works the same way as the other one. Now, real quickly, I will come over here, grab a seeder, and as I told you before, I'll show you how the fill-up process works. on our cedar here. Let's fast forward just a minute so we have some seed in there. We can just do a regular 120 times speed for a few minutes. And I don't know if there's a hundred in there, but there's enough to show you how it fills. You just take your cedar, you can either back it up or drive it straight across this little white dot when you have it centered over the white dot. Oop, there we are. We hit the trigger, it just fills automatically. 250 seed. Ready to go. And that's pretty much it for the seed business, other than just like the uh fertilizer there is a placeable seed station as well a placeable seed station costs the same price it's 20,000 and I will put it down by this one here We'll go take a look at the placeable seed station up the road. You'll see exactly how that works. One of the other things I wanted to mention, we do run the damage mod on here. You can see I just got 5% damage by hitting the fence. The damage mod was a uh, one of the mods that some people were a little bit worried about having on a map, especially with all the fences we have, but we have tamed it considerably. It only does a third of the damage the original damage mod does and we also blocked many tippers and loaders that come in contact with each other in the mod packs have already had it blocked so that they will not take damage at all as you see this tipper isn't even on the list up there next to damage because the tipper itself cannot take damage 
The truck, however, just took another 5% on that turn by hitting that little pallet. It does give you a little bit of time before you have to fix, uh, and there are the service vehicles on the map, as well as several garages. There's a garage right there up the street. And I'll just back this load of seed right up to the fill spot on the placeable. And we'll dump some in. And now that seed is ready for use, just like the other ones. Just drive over the dot in the front, that little box, and you can see it has a digital gauge to tell you how much seed is in that pallet. That is pretty much all that you need to know about creating seed. Remember, you just load whatever product you want. It is wiser to use products that don't cost that much money, so you can save those to sell off. Now we're into the premium factories that don't actually have to rely on to making your own products to run the game, but actually make premium products in order to increase your wealth. The first one is the Black Cat Birdseed Company on the north side here, right across from Dark Blue Farm. Pretty simple, works in the same way as the others. This is a load of sunflower seed. We'll drive the sunflower in until we get the trigger, dump trigger. It's probably the last spot. There we go. Sunflower drop. Our next product here is millet. Same thing, we drive down that left side hall with our millet load until we get a dump trigger signal, which is in the middle one. There's our dump trigger for corn. Sixty-nine thousand is what each one went in, and we'll fast forward time to create our bird seed. Okay, we're at nineteen nine ninety-nine, very close to full. Once you have your bird seed ready, it's still manufacturing. You just grab this Crone Emlin Multi Trailer. Our premium products can only be used moved using the starting trailer that we start everybody with so you may want to make sure you if you want to move premium products that you hang on to this trailer driving down through the middle of this side should have hit the unload trigger let's try that again There we go. And in goes our bags of bird seed. And your bird seed can be hauled off. We'll move on to the next factory, which is our bread factory. Bread Factory takes three products as well, works the same way as the bird seed. And all of them, all of the factories, in with wheat. Next is oat for the bread. And there we go, we're dumping oat. A load of rye. And we're loading in the rye. And the light turned green, we are now processing bread. Mm -hmm. 
is that is dumping, we'll come over, see we're filling up, and we'll fast forward the time once again, make some bread. Bread right now at GPC sells for 5719 and it hasn't even hit the 6000 sale price limit. 6005 at the end. Very premium item, 6005 for bre for bread. And once your bread is made, we can pick up the bread in this ramp here. It's very hard to back a trailer up to this ramp like this. So I put the triggers near the front door. So all you can do is go across the front. We have our 562 bread. That's all it made so far. And you can see the little bread bags ready to be delivered. And if you choose to want to store your bread for a little while rather than deliver it, we, there's one of these extra storage on each of these premium buildings on the side or in the back of them. You can leave your bread there and pick it up later by driving through the back square there. And let's move on to the next premium factory, which is... Popcorn Sutton's Whiskey Manufacturing. Three products for whiskey. We have our water. Water is not accepted there, but it is here in front of these barrels. Boom, it's empty. Instant empty water. And this water tanker and those triggers. And of course we need some corn mash, so we'll bring in some corn to the mill. Release the handbrake. And one of the sides takes corn. Not this one, it's the other side for the corn. We'll just drive around. You see a gauge on the outside of the building, just like the others. For corn, we'll load in our corn. Our third trailer is sugar cane. We need some sugar cane to finish our whiskey making process. Our third ingredient must go in this first box here. There we go. Corn, water, sugar cane. Let's fast forward and see what we get for whiskey. In order to pick up the whiskey, we just drive through the center of the building until we find that magical trigger. As you can see on the ticker across the top right now, Heartland Oat Silo is empty. That means it's waiting for oat. Anytime one of the silos empties or fills your product is full it will give you a little message ticking across the top and there you go we have some of popcorn sutton's whisk white whiskey in crates ready to be delivered